The British pop group S Club 7 was created in 1998 and quickly became famous after the series Miami 7 dedicated to it. The members who gave us the anthem of school dances briefly united in 2014-2015 and we'll tell you where they are now after so many years. If people try to put you down, just walk on by, don't turn around. Rachel Stevens, 20-year-old Rachel, was the only member of the group who did an audition. She was a model and had just started her career as a singer when producers asked her to record a demo for the future band. Her first solo album after the breakup of S Club 7 became a hit. The tour schedule was so busy that in 2004, she set the Guinness record for doing seven performances in different cities within 24 hours. However, the second album was less successful and Steven started a career on television. She participated in Dancing with the Stars, judged the New Zealand X Factor, and the Irish The Voice, and also appeared in other shows. Also, 44-year-old Rachel is a philanthropist. She donated money to third world countries and made an album of children's songs about the benefits of fruits and vegetables. Joe O'Meara. Joe was 19 when the producer spotted her performing at an open mic in a bar and invited her to an audition. By that time, the girl had already managed to work with Max Martin, a Swedish producer and author of countless hits. O'Meara was the lead vocalist of S Club 7 and had great potential, but disagreements with managers led to her debut solo album being a miss. Then Joe and two bandmates formed S Club 3. She returned to solo work in 2020. Now she is 43 years old and continues to record new music. Paul Cattermole, 20 year old Paul, a member of the National Youth Musical Theater, was also invited to audition. He became the absolute heartthrob of the band, but he was having a hard time. Paul felt like he was losing himself, so he was the first to leave the band. Paul performed with his new metal band, NS Club 3, and tried DJing. He is 45, and a few years ago, he had some financial troubles. Cattermole auditioned for various TV shows, but he was refused. He even tried to sell an old Brit Awards award on eBay. Hannah Spirit. Hannah passed the audition at 17 and soon to the envy of fans, started dating Paul. The couple gave the relationship a second chance in 2015, but it lasted only six months. After her success in music, Spirit started her career as an actress and became known for her role in the TV series Primeval. At 41, Hannah continues to act and raises two daughters. Where your dreams all come true. John Lee. Lee was the youngest member of the group. He was only 16 years old. After the S Club 7 breakup, John made a career in musical theater, playing in Les Miserables and Jersey Boys productions. John didn't quit music either and recorded a solo album in 2013, but it didn't enter the charts. Lee is now 40 years old and openly gay. He came out at a young age and fortunately, it did not affect his relationship with family and friends in any way. Tina Barrett, 22-year-old Tina had already had experience in a pop music group and easily passed the audition. She was a co-author of several S Club 7 songs and could choreograph, but after the breakup of the band, she couldn't sign with the label. Then Barrett took a nine-year break in her career, appearing only at social events, but later, her solo work didn't create a buzz. She also played several times in musicals and performed with ex-colleagues in S Club All-Stars. Now Tina is 46 years old. She's raising a son whom she gave birth to in 2016. Bradley McIntosh. Bradley joined the band at the age of 17 and after the breakup, failed as a solo artist. He tried his luck as part of the supergroup Upper Street, consisting of members from various pop groups, but this project wasn't successful either. McIntosh was part of all the projects as part of S Club All Stars. At 41, he's the owner of several entertainment companies. Did you rock out at discos to the songs of S Club 7? Bye. Bye. Bye.
If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.